Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. Welcome to a brand new in the shop outside. Uh, and we're gonna do today's shop on how I rig my Hobie kayak. You know, the great thing about these fishing kayaks is you can really customize these things to whatever you want. They're very customizable. Um, so I wanna show you how I do it. There's lots of other ways to do it, but this is the system that's really worked for me. And of course, this is the Hobie PA-14. It's a 360, Ike approved. Um, and I've got it rigged for tournament fishing, uh, all kinds of water from lakes to streams to ponds to reservoirs. It's a pretty awesome vehicle. So let me get this cover off. I'm gonna show you how I rigged a kayak and hopefully it'll teach you something. Airplane. Yo, airplane. This cover is actually really badass when you're like long term storing it. This is a great cover. The thing, uh, too, is so I have a, tr a travel cover that I use that uh, I use when I'm actually tournament fishing. But when I'm storing it for long periods of time, this Hobie cover is bomb, bomb, bomb. But uh, it takes a little bit to get it off, but not too bad. All right. All right, there she goes. Tools pretty handy here. Cause... Okay. Oh, there's trash in the kayak. Shocker. <laughs> it's great. Uh, all right, let's put this on. So, take our little flag off here. Actually, you know what? We don't even need to take it off. We'll just move it to the side. Okay, and then I run this cord, I actually run it under these bungees to keep it, everything nice and clean. Keep it under all those bungee cords. Plug in our power pole. Uh, it gets plugged in, that's hardwired. Which I like it hardwired better, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Uh, and then the great thing about this battery is I have another second bungee, and I actually put it under this bungee like that, and that keeps that keeps that battery sort of locked in. Once I get these cords on, though, so there's my it's my throttle connection. And then my trolling motor connection. Keep that port covered up. I don't want water to get in there. And that just will sneak under there like that. Look at that. Nice out of the way storage. My H crate, it's gonna get all my rods. This great thing about this Hobie box, and I don't even know the model number. Let me see if I can find it. I'll post the model number down in the description. But if you're using the high back Hobie seats, look at this. Great thing about this is this, I actually usually carry two of them. And that John just, look at that perfect fit right under that seat. I mean, perfect. And I can even strap them in for long distance travel. All right. Always use my flag. Unless I'm fishing like a farm pond or something, I'm always using my flag. 
I've got a little uh, yak attack mount for the flag that I use. Let me get on this side. I can get it in there. Nice out of the way location. Keeps it centered. I got my light on there, of course, for early morning launching. All right, now this is, we got a lot of Torquedo users out there. This, this can be complicated. So these are for my, these are my steering cables. So I just store them on that pin. So one goes on the left, one goes on the right. And then we've got our other two. This is our, these are our cables to lift the trolling motor if we want to lift it. So we got two connections here. The short one goes on that lead. The long one goes on this top hook like that. Okay, and that's if we want to raise our torpedo up if we're in shallow water. The other thing is I've got, uh, I don't know if you see this, but I've actually got the rock guard on here. Uh, this is from uh, a good friend of mine, Trey, makes this. Um, and that really helps. That keeps that prop from getting hit or damaged. Literally, it's just a big keel guard for that, so it's no problem. Um, this is a little deal I came up with. It's, uh, this is just, you can buy these from any marine supply store. These are just little totes for that standard size flambo box. Uh, 5,500 size and I just it literally fits look at how it fits in the H, top of the H crate so I can keep my hard baits some swim bait stuff in regular standard boxes I can pull from my bass boat and they fit right in the top and I still have all that underneath storage in the H crate so that's a cool little thing I came up with alright put my vest on real quick it's out of the way and then, I'm going to show you this little deal that I came up with. This is pretty awesome. Uh, and this is a system I came up with to launch when I'm by myself. And a lot of times in the Hobie, I'm by myself. Uh, this is, you can get it um, TH Marine. It's called a Z-cord. It's basically a, it's a bungee, a giant bungee cord. It's got uh, two ends to it. So I put uh, a big carabiner on the one end and I put a small carabiner on the other end and the small one goes around the nose of the kayak and literally I just double it back on itself, okay? So there's that. And then, you know, this end I can hook to the trailer, I can hook to my truck. If you're fishing with a buddy, you could have your buddy hold this. But literally, you know, a lot of times I'll just wrap it around the tongue like this I'll keep all the excess on top, like that. And when I back this down on the trailer, the kayak slides off. I'm looking in my rear view mirror. I watch the kayak slide off and it just slides. The bungee catches and because it has an elasticity to it, boom, it comes right back to me. It's a great system. Uh, I fish a lot, I do a lot of kayak fishing by myself, so it's a, it's a great system. All right, let's get to the powerhouse, guys. I know you want to see this. This is, uh, is game-changing for me since I've got these Pro Guides. These big Pro Guide batteries, now instead of running two or three little batteries, I run one battery and it powers everything for me. This is the PGL50 uh, by Pro Guide. Super light, believe me, I'm not that strong. <laughs> Super light, um, and all I do is I basically wire it with um, two sets of, uh, these are uh, male-female connections. Uh, and one runs house electronics, house lights, and I have one dedicated to active target. And there are some kayak tournaments where I'm not using active target, so I don't wanna draw the power so it gives me the option to run active target or not. Uh, and so here's the system, guys. And I keep it in the front hatch. 
I use a regular, just a battery storage box. You can get this at TH Marine. And this battery fits right in that deal. And that kind of keeps it watertight. Um, these things I run up, I can run up in this hole right here. So there's, there's my all-terrain. Here's my house connection. And I can just run these right up through there to keep everything watertight. And uh, just do my little male-female connection. And I'm ready to go. I put that lid on it. And this hatch is pretty watertight to begin with, but that gives me just an extra level of keeping that battery dry. And I, I want to keep that lithium battery dry. All right, so everything's powered up. Uh, I guess now I want to just give you a, a walkthrough of everything and how I have it rigged and, and why. So let's start in the back and we'll work to the front. We'll go in reverse. Uh, once again, guys, this is, just to let you know, this is a Hobie PA14. This is the Mirage Pro Drive uh, model. It's got the 360 drive on it. It's awesome. And of course, this is the Ike Approved model, uh, which you'll notice with the, the color, custom color. Uh, pretty cool uh, on that deal. All right, so start in the back. Um, you know, propulsion. Uh, a system, an engine system, is really important in kayak fishing. When you want to go long distances, uh, I fish a few different tournament circuits. Some allow it, some don't. But in e any case, when I practice or when I'm fun fishing and I want to go long distances, what a great tool this is. Uh, and this is the Torquedo uh, Ultralight. And uh, it's got this amazing kayak uh, mount and this mount is by a company called Innovative Sportsman. Uh, you can look them up on the web or social media. They make a uh, tray over there, make some great stuff. He's the one, by the way, that made that little uh, rock guard for that. But the great thing about this Torquedo is I control everything with my feet. So I have a throttle system, forward and reverse, and I control everything with my feet. So this is hands free, guys, just like your pedal drive system. Uh, and it's also got the kill switch. So when I'm using this, I attach this kill switch to my vest just in case. And then I'm able to go forward and reverse and gauge my speed based on what I want to do. You know, um, to be honest with you, man, if you run this thing half or three quarter throttle, you can go all day and never run out of battery, man. This thing really lasts. But in tournaments, a lot of times, I go full throttle to get to my starting area. But um, the nice thing about this throttle, not only just forward and reverse, but also gives you an indicator, tells you how far you have to go left on your battery, how much battery life you have, your exact speed. So if, you know, let's say you're, you're power fishing, I can set this to like 0.2 and just fast enough to just hit a lay down and go, hit a lay down and go, hit a lay down and go. So really cool control system. And then of course, here's my foot control. And if you look, uh, the foot control system is just with your left foot, right foot, and it literally turns that motor left and right, right? So it's just the steering control with your feet. So the Torquedo for me has been, has been awesome. Uh, definitely a must have for my kayak, especially when I'm tournament fishing. All right, next must have, uh, we've got up here, we've got a power pole. Um, and uh, this is the power pole micro uh, anchor, micro spike. Uh, critical, guys. I don't know what else to tell you except that literally I could not imagine kayak fishing without a power pole <laughs> micro. Like that's how important it is. So, you know, to just give you guys a look at the actual pole, you know, it, it's kind of like a metal spike. Uh, it just goes in and then it's got an up down. Now, of course, I have a key fob um, that I have around my neck. I also mount it an up and down button right next to the seat, uh, just uh, below that torpedo throttle. So three ways to operate it. I can do it back here. I can do it on my key fob. I could also do it on my pad up front, but up down system, super easy. Now you heard me mention this before, you can run this on its own independent battery pack. 
But what I've found over the years is it's more effective for me to hardwire it. So, you know, there's no connection problems. If that battery goes down, I'll have to worry about switching the batteries out. So I have it hardwired and that goes straight to that ProGuide lithium battery that I'm running. So uh, power pole, just like the Torquedo, really, really essential uh, in my fishing. Let's keep going. Um, I'll breeze by these next two because they don't seem important, but they're pretty important. Uh, of course, I'm run, always running a flag anytime I'm fishing in, a, in, a, in, in this kayak, especially on public waterways where you've got big boats and you've got motor boats and jet skis. I'm always running that flag. I'm always running my light during low light conditions. Very, very important. Uh, this is a Yak Attack, uh, Yak Attack product. Very, very awesome. And then I've also mounted some kayak lights and these are by TH Marine. And you're gonna see I have, um, I have these mounted all over the kayak. I have some on the outside. I have some on the inside. On the inside, I use white lights because I want to help them, you know, I wanna help see when I'm tying. On the outside, I do colored lights. So I have red on the outside to match the color of the kayak. Really makes it visible at night, guys. Uh, really brightens you up, low light uh, at night, first thing in the morning. It's cool looking and it's really, really functional. So easy to install. Uh, once again, I have that on a key fob that I can just turn those lights on and off. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, as we go down, I've got the Hobie H-Crate. Uh, Hobie H crate's pretty awesome. Flambeau also makes a great crate for your kayak if you're looking for an aftermarket kayak product, but I love the H crate. And just like the kayak itself, you can customize these H crates. So I'll just show you what I do with mine is I add it rod holders. So I add it um, two sets of rod holders on the right and left side. And then in the back, I add it a three rack of rod holders. So now let's count them because the H crate has four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 rods, guys, I can hold. And um, not suggesting you carry 11 rods, but in tournament situations, I definitely like multiple rods. That helps me get the rods out of the way. Uh, I showed you the tackle storage system. This thing's awesome. TH Marine little aftermarket product, and it fits directly in the top of my H crate. Inside that bag, I've got stuff that I don't need to get to right away, but a lot of emergency stuff inside my H-Crate bag. Last but not least, I've got a little Hobie, I just call it a bucket, uh, but these things, you can mount them on any of the rails, the H-Rails, uh, and I like that bucket there because I'll put stuff that I'm using during that day right there. So, uh, scent, uh, extra pliers, um, uh, markers, uh, you know, spare hooks or whatever. Easy to get to. Takes it out of trying to have to hassle around. It's right at your fingertips. All right, let's keep going. Um, so I've got a little ram mount, uh, uh, ram ball and a ram mount that's a rod holder ram mount. I've got it mounted on a little yak attack accessory, but I don't use it for a rod. In tournaments where I'm using a net, guys, I actually use this for my net. I'm able to spin it around and it keeps my, I have a Yak Attack two-piece net, folds out, and it keeps it right at my fingertips. So when that net's extended, the handle's literally right next to my seat. So when I'm fighting that fish, I can grab the handle, net that fish, and make it really simple and easy. In other situations, I could use it for a 12th rod, but that rod holder from Ram, 99% um, of the time using it for a net in those kind of tournaments. Uh, I showed you the battery for the Torquedo. It stores perfectly between the seat and the H crate. I add an extra bungee just to help keep it in there. And of course, we've got the standard bungees that come with the Hobie. Um, it's a little Hobie tool holder. I love this thing. Uh, I, I usually mount it so that it's top up. I want it high up. And this has got the basics for me. So my pliers, my scissors, and everything's on a retractable, uh, Hobie retractable cord. So in case I'm fiddling around and it's still right here, it's gonna save it. And that area in here, again, scent, uh, dyes, super glue, things that you have to get at real easily. There it goes. All right, let's get to the seat. Um, this is the Hobie high back seat. I love this thing. 
It's fully adjustable. Uh, two things I want to show you with the seat. The one is the kayak cushion. Uh, man, I'm old. I'm an old guy. I'm 50. So sitting all day was sometimes becoming a problem. I started using the kayak cushion on my butt and back, and boy, it made a lot of difference for me. Just made it more comfortable, less fatigue on my back and my butt. So great add-on to the seat. And then, of course, the underseat storage. And I'm, look, guys, click in the link because I want to find out the exact model. But this is a Flambeau box that I, I use two of them side by side. I keep all my soft plastics in there. And that really just disappears. And it's right at your fingertips. So in a tournament, I literally just stand up, lift my seat up, get my plastic out, open it up. Oh, yeah, what, what are they hitting? Berkeley Power Bait Generals? Cool. And put it right back. Strap them away for long distance traveling. It's, it's awesome. I love that thing. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, man, if you're not familiar with this thing, I'll just show you. This is the Hobie 360 drive. Uh, this thing's a game changer. So, of course, it's a pedal drive kayak system. But the great thing about the 360 is, look at this, this drive rotates 360 degrees. And the best way to describe that is when you're fishing something and you want to fish it thoroughly or stay in a, a spot, I can do it without ever having to hit forward, reverse, cords, buttons. I just do it with my feet and I do it with my steering mechanism. So Hobie 360 drive, really, really critical for me uh, in kayak fishing, uh, super critical. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we've got um, another critical part of the kayak, guys. Uh, like it or not, electronics and the information electronics provide. Uh, big believer in the more information you have, the better equipped you are at uh, interpreting the fish and learning about what they're doing. So I use a dual, uh, I use a dual depth finder system. I'm using Hobies. Um, I've got the Burley Pro visors on them, which really, really help guys with glare, uh, especially when you're seated trying to look down, helps with glare. I have these two Lorances mounted on that add-on H-rail. Um, and you could get this directly from Hobie. It's a front mount H-rail. So if you see the way that's mounted, it literally mounts across the top of the kayak. That's really nice because then when you go to mount your units, one, two, I've seen guys doing three, uh, it makes mounting a lot easier. Uh, it keeps them stacked side by side, makes it a really clean insulation. And I've got a nine and a seven. These are the Lowrance Elite units. I've got an HDS nine and an Elite seven. They're awesome. They are unbelievably awesome. And basically what I'm using these for, I'm using the bigger unit for 2D sonar, side imaging or down imaging, and mapping, GPS. Very, very critical. Then I have my seven in tournaments where I'm using active target. It's a dedicated unit for active target. And, uh, you know, like it or not, forward facing sonar is changing the game. Um, so I want to make sure I have that on my kayak. So very, very key. You know, the other thing is I put, uh, I put these door safe locks on. You see these in a lot of bass boats. I mount them on my kayak units too, because a lot of times, you know, you pull out, you stop at a Wawa, you stop to get something to eat, stop at a rest stop. I want to have that peace of mind that those units are locked on there. I'm also running, I'll uh, show you, I'll put these down real quick. Also run a little ram mount right between the two units. Um, this is just a ram mount. I think this is a, an eight inch uh, arm. And it's a great view if you're doing filming, if you're recording yourself. So it gives you that front back view, which is awesome. So if you're filming digital content or you're filming your tournaments, that's a great system. I'll jump back to this real quick too. I run two cameras during the day. I also run a second ram mount back here. And if you see that one, that's that longer arm. I think that's the 18 inch arm. And I have a back view from, from the back looking down. So after a tournament, man, whether I'm posting it or not, 
I can look at critique the way that I fished, right? Like, like, uh, like athletes in any sport watch tape. You can watch tape. And trust me, guys, you're going to learn a lot if you film your fishing. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I'm, I noticed something else, too. It's funny. Every time I walk back with you guys, I notice something different. I do have a little Hobie bag that I strap on the back of the seat, and I keep critical things in there like toilet paper, baby wipes. You know, if, if Mother Nature calls, they're in there. Okay, uh, let's keep going. You looked at my depth finders. All right, I showed you that battery system. I'll give you another quick view of it. Here it goes. Uh, that's the Pro Guide. That's the PGL 50 lithium battery. Man, that thing is a workhorse. One battery can run all my stuff all day. It's amazing. In that box too, I just I carry some spare connections. I've got some spare wiring and uh, you know extra bungees, screwdriver, electrical tape, a uh, little WD-40 spray, things that you might need in a hurry. Uh, and uh, let's see. Come around here, see what else we've got. Got my catch board. You know, it's funny because guys will have a system or a place that they mount theirs. I just sort of lay it on the floor, but I do have on my catch board, I do use, uh, I do use a, a leash and I have a leash tethered to my kayak. So, you know, who knows in a tournament, if you're bouncing around or if uh, it slips out of your lap in the lake, it's going to save my catch board, okay? Just got my catch board there. A few extra mounts over here, guys. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, I've got a cup holder for my water. I've got my active target mount, uh, which is a little homemade jobber. Uh, and I carry paddles with me all the time. Even with a pedal drive and a torpedo, the paddles to me are a great fail safe, just even in an emergency situation. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Let me remind you, this is the way that I like to rig my kayak. This is the Hobie PA 360. It's the 14 Ike approved model. Uh, lots of different options out there. And uh, you know, when you're kayak fishing, it really gives you the ability to DIY, make it your own, right? So I hope you enjoyed this in the shop, outside in the windy, sunny day, talking about how I rig my kayak, the little things I do, Hope you learned something. Man, if you like what you're watching, do me a favor. Stop right now. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, we got new content coming every single week. If you're already a subscriber, tell your buddies about Mike Aguinelli Fishing on YouTube. we got some good information uh, we're putting out there to try to help people become better fishermen, better anglers. So I hope you like this video. Good luck, and uh, good luck with your kayak. Rig it up. Bye. Hey, everybody, Mike Iaconelli. I hope you enjoyed this week's In the Shop. I hope you learned a little bit. And if you like these videos, remember, there's a whole boatload. Check out these two, and you're going to learn more about bass fishing.